First Lady Melania Trump will reportedly visit immigration facilities near the U.S.-Mexico border today. Now, this is her second visit since President Trump signed an executive order ending family separations last week. Near the border, federal agents in Edinburgh, Texas, allowed David Begno inside a home during a raid of smuggled undocumented immigrants. Good morning. Gail, good morning. It's another layer of the border crisis story. Over the last two weeks that we've been here, starting when you came down here, we showed you where people are crossing the border every day, every hour. But this involves smugglers stashing people in houses. We're in the middle of a nice neighborhood, in the middle of town. In this case, the smuggler was arrested, told police where he'd find the immigrants, and even gave him the garage door opener. Nearly two dozen law enforcement agents surrounded this suburban Texas home early Wednesday morning. The deputy chief was just told that there's about 40 people inside. It's exactly what they had been told. Inside, 62 undocumented immigrants, mostly from Central America, and Border Patrol says they were brought here by a smuggler. If you come in the kitchen, uh, it's clear that there was food being made, plates, a lot of flies all over the place, but every inch of tile in this house had someone sitting on it when the agents busted through the door. Do you know what's going to happen to you now? Yeah, in the port in New Mexico. This woman, who was here with her sister, says she'd been in the house for 15 days. I have three, three, three child, my sister have four, yeah, they're, they're and we don't have any, any work. Every one of these... Conditions are so bad, they will call 911. That's how we are able to uncover some of these stash houses, because somebody is so desperate to get out that they're willing to call the police and the law enforcement authorities to rescue them. Border Patrol told me that what smugglers will usually do is go on Craigslist or find a newspaper ad. They'll rent the house, and in many cases, the owner doesn't even know what the smuggler is using it for. Heck, the neighbors don't even know. I mean, Vlad, the woman who lives across the street asked us what we were doing here. We told her, and she said, I had no clue. I mean, I live right across the street. And to think that there were 60 people living in this house, one man said he was here for nearly a month. By the way, there's only one bathroom, one shower. Disturbing details indeed. David Begno for us. Thank you very much.